Good evening guys this is Mel welcome back to my youtube channel. Today in this video we are going to explore the new features of the Dialogs Evo 11.1. I hope you guys have already downloaded and installed the, the new version. If you haven't then you can go check their website and download. Even come to the Dialogs community. Here in the updates you can find the download link for the new version of the Dialogs. In this video today we will be discussing all the new features. and. I'm also going to explain you how you can make the most use of it. We'll be discussing each and every point here mentioned about the new version of the Dialogs Evo 11.1. So let's get started. The first point here is says that in the settings for work planes, you can configure whether they should be created automatically for areas and rooms or not. Hereby you can also create rooms empty. This setting is available for exterior and interior separately. Okay, so let's get, let's go to dialogs and check this out. I have opened a new project. We'll go to the file, settings, general settings. Then we'll go to the project. Under the project, in the work planes, you can find here create work working plane automatically. Also take into account during IFC import. So this is marked checked. Okay, so when it is marked checked, then it is automatically going to create the work planes. If you don't want to create the work planes, then you can unmark this and go back to your project. Okay, now where can we make use of this work planes? If you are working for interior project and you are doing the lux calculation for all the rooms, then automatically generating the work planes is a plus point. But Often at times we are working on double height areas. We are working on the areas where we only need to show the room not running the calculations. Like say for example a balcony. Okay. I think this feature is going to help us while we are working on the facade project specially. Because uh, in the older version of dialogues when we are working in the facade project constructing the building with the inner rooms then uh, we have to delete the work plane room by room so it was time consuming now since this option is available then it's easy to just just uncheck this box and you're done so i think this is going to save a lot of time okay this is an amazing feature let's go check the next one the next one is the F12 key can be used to repeat the last tool action used by pressing a key. This is specifically helpful for action that have to be executed again. Okay, this is great. This is my sample project here. Let's check this second update that is of F12 key. So basically they are saying that it is a shortcut like if you want to repeat any action you can use F12. But how actually you are going to use it? Like say for example I am going to draw a cutout here okay once it's drawn see i can't redraw again i have to go and select again and draw but by using by pressing just f12 key see now i have just pressed f12 key then i can repeat the last action okay again i'm going to press f12 key and i can repeat the last action i think this is awesome there are many functions in the dialogues which have to be repeated like you know placing the apertures placing the cutouts placing the luminous then you can easily press f12 key and that will be selected okay let's see other one in addition we have in addition we have compiled further helpful hotkeys for many functions for you you can get the detailed overview in the handy pdf okay if you click here on the pdf you're going to get all the key shortcuts here this pdf file are detailed with the keyboard shortcuts you can go through this pdf this is a good addition now next update is you will be able to enter color configuration as a web format that is hex value so in my previous video i have i have already explained you about this feature I even hosted a mega giveaway. The giveaway is still open. You can go there and uh, the giveaway is 650 plus hex color codes with those textures. So it's an Excel sheet. You can go to the previous video, go to the description and there is a link. 
if you download the link you will get the excel sheet which is which will be really very very helpful for you with this new feature of the dialogs evo 11.1 if you haven't checked that video yet please go check that out i will provide a link of that video in the description below okay so the next one is it is also possible to configure sections appropriately before drawing them when you click sections in cat the values of the last clicked sections are always used as the basis for the next construction okay that is really great so here it is saying that i can define the cutting depth of the cutouts and uh, whatever i define it is going to take the same value for the next construction okay let us go check that out here is my sample project i will delete this cutout first now say i want to draw a circular cutout i will select okay and i have to define the cutting depth like say i want to cut it to 0.15 meters okay now i will go and draw the next cutout so here i can use the f12 key shortcut which we already know this is going to work in dialux evo 11.1 and i'm going to draw the cutout see perfect so here just once i define that the cutting depth is 0.15 and for the next cutout out which i'm drawing for that too it's taking as 0.15 press f12 to repeat the last action again i'm going to draw the cutout and here to i have a cutout with cutting depth of 0.15 meter in this new feature i don't need to go and separately change the cutting depth of each and every cutout if the cutting depth is same i think uh, i'm sure you might have come across a project wherein you have you might have a cnc panel in the wall or a uh, detail in the ceiling of any cutouts when you have to draw too many cutouts and then design the lighting accordingly like so i will show you a reference image of the of a project so here in this feature wall i had so many cutouts and the cutting depth of all the cutouts was same but in the older version i have to go define for each and every cutout i made i have to go define the cutting depth it was too much time consuming i can i can relate to it but now since this addition is there this new addition which wherein it is going to consider whatever the value you enter it is going to consider the same in the next step i'm sure it is going to be very helpful let's delete this for now save our project and check the new feature the next new feature is when you import images dialogs displays a new selection dialog with the current contents of the clipboard to help you this gives you a preview of to check if the images is what you want for example you can load the images as content of the documentation as a plan but also as a material okay so previously it says that we can directly copy the images from the clipboard to dialogs let's check that feature out say for example i will consider a new project here search for some 2d autocad plan image copy image now the content has been copied to the clipboard we'll go to our load plan okay this is the image i copied to the clipboard which is this one i didn't save this image i just copied it and when i'm when i loaded the plan it is showing me this preview and it is also asking me whether whether i want to use this clipboard image or i want to open the file say i will say use the clipboard okay it is showing me preview and then i can set the origin here let's set the origin and define the scale and finish the plan is loaded it's perfect nice the feature is also saying that i can use the image not only as a plan but also as a material so let's go and check how i can use it as a material we'll go to the textures okay say i want to add some paintings here we'll go to the google select some minimalistic painting images i will select this one copy image go to the dialogs create texture material this is the image i selected use clipboard image loaded here apply material and then if you want to properly scale it you can scale it 
perfect all the other properties are also correct there's no change in this i think this is going to save a lot of time because unnecessary you don't have to download too many images and textures for your file here you can also select multiple images in the clipboard and then add it okay like for example when you go and search the images you may like a couple of things so you can just copy image don't save it say for example you like this image copy image okay then say we liked this one i'm going to copy this image too this is my second image i copied i like this image too i'm going to copy this image as well now i'll go to the dialogs i have copied three images to my clipboard let's go to create texture material whichever whichever the image i copied to the clipboard before entering this function that preview is available here but what if i need to use the use the texture with which was my first image or the second image for that what you have to do is press window key and v on your keyboard here you can see the clipboard whatever the images i copied are here now say this is my this was my first image this is second and this was the third say i want to select this one i will select i will click here okay now go to the dialogs create texture material see that image is selected use clipboard apply material properly scale it okay perfect let's repeat that again to open the clipboard press window key plus v on the keyboard and say you want to select this image select okay it will be copied to the clipboard create texture material see that image is here use clipboard material apply material and then you can scale it perfect now if you want to clear your clipboard because every time you go to the create texture material if you copy something on your clipboard every time it is going to show you this preview windows key plus v on your keyboard here you can see three dots to the image select here clear all okay now your clipboard is empty we will close this one we'll go create texture material see since there was nothing copied to the clip clipboard it is showing you directly to select the texture which you have already saved in any folder right perfect so this is how you can make the most use of this new addition copying the content from the clipboard in the dialogs that's nice let's see the next feature in addition you will soon be able to set whether light textures and results should be automatically discarded when project changes are made the highlight here is that dialogs will no longer display the prompt to discard the results okay that's great so here i will to understand this feature let's consider uh, i have considered a single room with some luminaires placed in it i will run the calculation okay so the lux levels and uniformity is not achieving so what we will do is we'll go and uh, make some ad adjustments in the luminous see i made the adjustment in the luminous but still the results are not discarded i can see the previous results so uh, i need to discard the results and then again run the calculation instead of doing this what you can do is as per the new feature go to the settings general settings go to the calculation here you have a remove light visualization results false colors iso lines as soon as results are discarded i will check this one we'll go back to the dialogs run again the calculation okay this is the calculation but say i want to make some changes in my layout i will reduce the number of fixtures i made some changes in the luminous the results were automatically discarded this is because i made that settings this might look simple addition but it is very important a nice one next is and in addition they have made the existing functions even better like we have this like in the last version of the dialogs evo this energy saving features was introduced they have updated this one wherein you can even check you can check the different data here show energy demand show cost show carbon dioxide emission 
we will discuss in detail we will discuss in detail about this in a separate tutorial but very useful feature when you're working for energy efficient lighting systems now the next dialux places the object coordinate system in the center of the floor surface by default this guarantees that grouped objects are also on the floor when inserted and depending on the design are no longer tilted i don't know how many of you remember this but if you have dialux introduced this new feature wherein you can save your own furniture which you made in the dialux i think many of you have made their own 3d models and saved it i even had short videos on making few of the mostly used objects to make easily in the dialux so here i think i have saved a 3d model wherein uh, this is this is something i made i i made a pot okay and uh, the thing was in the in the last version of the dialux when i combined everything the pot was tilted like say it is saved but if i have to place it it is going to be tilted and i have to go rotate it but in the new version of the dialux this is not the case so let's check that out for that what we'll do is we will make a very simple 3d model let's say i will place a cube and place it at an angle okay and on top of it i'm going to place one sphere okay and then i'm going to group i'm going to combine both say it's a type of an artifact okay my 3d model is combined let's place it perfect it is not tilted it is it is directly placed on the floor it is not like my previous object perfect now we can make our own low poly low mb objects in the dialux itself in more precision this is awesome let me know in the comments below which is the feature of the dialux evo 11.1 which you love the most and also do let me know if you're facing any issues while working newest version of the dialux so this is it guys in this video if you like the video please do hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you